Okay, in this video you're going to be working with circles again and kind of working with a um, cylinder as well, except for this time it is going to be a cut uh, extrusion, so it's really going to be a hole. Uh, but what I'm going to create here is I'm going to create the window that goes on the back of this cab. And first thing I will do is start a sketch. Okay, and get my sketch here on this side. That's just the side I choose to work from. And I'm going to get some dimensions. Um, I need a circle that has a radius of 0.5 or a half an inch. Uh, multiply that by 2 and I come up with 1. So that is actually going to be a diameter of 1 inch. So I need a 1 inch circle in approximately that, that spot. Create my circle. Okay, and we'll draw it out here. And I know it's supposed to be one inch, so I'm going to go ahead and type in one inch. And then I want to constrain the circle to that specific point. Um, now, from the outside of the cab, you see the circle kind of cuts through the latter half of the cab. It doesn't; it's not a complete circle. So I want to position the circle um, one quarter of an inch. You know, the center of that circle, one quarter of an inch into the cab. That's the first thing I want to do. So this dot and it's 0.25. Alright, then the next thing I want to do is get the height of where that is supposed to be located. And the center of the circle again is at 1.75 inches high from the bottom of the base. Point and base 1.75 okay now it's in the proper location next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to finish my sketch and I am going to click extrusion then I'm going to select my geometry then I'm going to click on all and of course I uh, automatically it kind of changed to uh, cut geometry there and it goes all the way through and I click OK so my train is starting to come together 